But it was, should have been rewarded with the bucket. Three by Darling connected on the second chance opportunity. Altiche setting a screen here for Preston. The corner, Darling a three, yes. Good job knowing where his feet are by uh, Kyer when he recovered it. Preston will get staggered screens, working to the right side, picked up a switch by Barlow. Altiche flips it to Darling. Darling's floater in the paint is good. Dribble. Size up and step into a three. Keaton walls into the front court. Darling gets the step and finishes with a nice angle off the glass. And Blake Wesley's isolated on the left side. Steps into the three. Off the heel of the rim, rebounded by Darling. Quick outlet to Preston. And a shovel pass to Darling for three. Yes. Oh my God. On the largest lead of the game. Darling at an ocean on a three, well defended by Sean D. Brown. Spins and scoops off the window. Murphy finds Hall in the corner. Darling, no hesitation on the three, and he is feeling it. Clippers' lead is now nine. Big thanks to the hot shooting from Darling. Moses Brown sets a high screen for Preston. Darling wide open. Better guard. It's on defense, leads to the fast break right there. He hasn't had the best game today from the mid-range, but up close. Zagor score left to play in this third quarter. Clippers are going to add on to their 20-point lead with Nate Darling at the free throw line. To shoot out of it close down correctly. Moon using the Moses Brown screen. Darling drives to the paint. And he's feeling it. Terry O has connected on from behind the arc. Wesley can't get the shot to go. Barlow couldn't get the follow. That's Clippers looking to build on the lead. Petar wanted the goaltend on that one as there was a slap on the backboard.